So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to solve the optical mode supported within slab waveguide structures using Old Monano. The tutorial is going to run through. You can access in the new simulation window under mode solvers, and I'm going to run through effectively um, the 1D slab uh, waveguide, the transverse electric, transverse magnetic, and I'm then going to look at 2D modes um, with transverse electric. These are more, here are more complex structures that I will talk about um, another time in another video. So what we've got here is effectively a slab waveguide structure. It's got one layer here of low refractive index material, another layer of refractive with low refractive index material, and the centre you've got a, a layer of high refractive index material. And this structure is used, or these structures like this are used for guiding light through through a space. So you could think of this like fiber optic cable. So let's look at fiber optic cables uh, here in, from Wikipedia. So here's a sort of a, a cut through a fiber optic table, cable, and the way it works is it traps light in its core um, there. And by having a high refractive index at the core, so here's the end refractive index, you've got a high refractive index in the core and a low refractive index around the outside. Um, the same here and here. And the result of this is light effectively gets trapped in the center region so it can propagate a very, very long distance. And you use these structures in all sorts of things. Um, and we, and it, light propagates through these structures with a sort of a certain mode, so sort of a certain distribution. And this uh, video tutorial is going to be all about finding what modes are supported by um, structures like this. So going back to the example over here, um, we, in our example, have got um, refractive index of 1, 4 and 1. And the layer structure that I've set up here in the layer editor has got 500 nanometer thickness of layer for this layer, 500 nanometer of this layer and 500 nanometer of this layer. And here you can see the refractive indices that I've set up. So um, let's simulate what optical modes are supported by the structure. And initially we're going to be looking at transverse electric um, modes. So let's just click run, simulation to run, and let's look at the snapshots to have a look at the output. So what it's going to do is it's going to go through um, <clears throat> a series of wavelengths and see what optical mode is supported in the structure. So this is the fundamental mode. Um, so this, this mode here, let's move this over here, would peak in the centre. So that's a very, very nice sort of fundamental mode of the structure. Then going on to the next mode, it's sort of this, um, this sort of dip, up, dip. So that sort of dip down there, up, down there, and down like that. And you get nothing in the outside of this structure. And going forwards, it, you will find the other modes which are supported by the structure. And now we're on to a different wavelength. So if we zip up, zip on to say a red a red wavelength, let's go to red, um, six, 62 nanometers. Um, this is the mode that would be supported. One of the modes that would be supported at the wavelength. And here's the fundamental. Um, so those are the modes supported um, by, by the structure. <coughs> Now there's also transverse magnetic waves uh, modes that we can have a look at by going to the optical simulation, looking at the mode calculator, and changing this from transverse electric to transverse magnetic. And if we rerun that um, and look at the app snapshots, and let's just go to a bit longer wavelength, which is a bit more obvious. You can see for these transverse magnetic waves, just because of the boundary conditions of the interface, you've got a slight um, dialect, you've got a sort of slight um, uh, discontinuity here, and this is just because of the um, interface conditions for uh, transverse magnetic uh, modes. So we've got both types of modes um, in this that we can examine in this uh, structure. And you can change the thickness of the layers by you know, playing with these numbers and what, what have you there. So that's 1D effectively. Now let's move on to 2D. So if we go to the optical simulation, um, we can look at the optical mesh. Now here we, we're solving for, um, you can see we're solving from between 300 nanometers to 800 nanometers with 20 points. So that's what's giving us our resolution in um, wavelength space. Um, if you want to look at different wavelengths or pure wavelengths, you could set it here. I'm looking in the Y direction, which if we look, I'll just pop this on top. If we look at the, there's a little arrow somewhere. Here's the, here's the arrow. Um, we're looking at the Y direction, so we're solving for modes going down here. But let's extend this to look at modes going in the X direction. So if we click X, whoops, X, then we get a mesh for the X. Now, um, I don't want the simulation to take a very, very long time, so I'm going to reduce the number of mesh points for the Y just to 50 because um, it's obviously a, 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 sort of a, a square. The, so it'll take uh, 
n times n times the time um, that it took for the last simulation. So I don't want to be here for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to change this to 50 by 50. So these are the number of mesh points we've got in the X and the Y. And then let's set this back to transverse electric. And then let's just click run and see what it does. And it's searching for, I'll just get this progress window up. It's searching for effectively different modes of the waveguide. And you can see the progress here and how many modes it's finding each wavelength. And every time it finds a mode, it, 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 it says that it's, it's, it shows it in the color of the mode. So will it take a second to run? There we go, done. So now if we go to output and snapshots, um, we can see that instead of the 1D picture, we've now got this uh, very nice 2D, uh, sorry, 3D picture where we can look at the mode supporting the waveguide. And by using the snapshot slider, we can go along it and see what mo optical modes are supported. Um, and you see the sort of, there's, there's, um, ignore the black bit here, that's just uh, a plotting a plotting error. Um, you can see sort of all the different optical modes that are supported. And it's actually searching, um, we'll just go to higher wavelength, you see, you see that that's quite a cool one, it's sort of radiating away from, we're getting a bit, uh, at these higher wavelengths, the, the modes don't actually fit in the structure very well, so they sort of start escaping the edges. I think there's more example, there we go, so that, that's actually quite a cool one in that uh, it's actually sort of, I think it's called anti-guiding mode. I can't remember the, the correct term, but it's outside of the high refractive index region. This is just because the red light is a, a, a longer wavelength than the structure can, can fit in here. So, um, very good. And the modes it searches for, I'll just, um, I'll just demonstrate this. The modes it searches for, um, effectively, it's, it goes, so I'll go back to, hit, uh, Oh, no, I'll leave that. So this, these are the modes it searches for. So it's got effectively, this is X, they're called eigen modes and Y eigen modes. So if you set this to one and one, it will just find the fundamental. But if you set it to five and five plus five, the fundamental plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And Y is the Y direction and X is the X direction. So you can sort of really search for which mode you, you're interested in. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you find that useful, interesting. Um, if you yeah if you use this let me know um, if you want if you sort of it doesn't quite fulfill your needs but it almost does let me know and I'll try and tweak it to, to fit your needs um, I think the next video I'm going to do I'm going to do on the more complex uh, 2d waveguides um, so I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching <laughs>